Okay, I'm going to try and run through exactly how I do my live streaming. Um, I just want to go through the hardware. So in front, I've got the Tractor Control S3. This is not the S2 or the S4. This is the S3 that doesn't have the effects across the top, um, which is fine because I use this, which is a Tractor Control X1 Mark II. So I have my effects here and loops and filters and stuff, which is fine for me. So I've got the best of both worlds. Um, I'm running... Um, Windows laptop, Windows 10, 64-bit, Tractor Pro 3, um, and I've also got a second screen, which is useful, um, which is just connected via HDMI, uh, headphones, lots of cables, and I've got a webcam there, which points down at this, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, you don't need the second screen, but it's handy, because I have YouTube and WhatsApp open and a few other things. Uh, most important bit, see my other tutorial, but you have to make sure that this is in line in mode. And using the booth, I use the booth out coming out of the quarter inch jacks into line in, and it comes in on channel D for live streaming. Um, see another tutorial about that, but basically you have to hold shift and press external, and it will switch it from mic D to line in. And basically what I'm doing is I'm sacrificing the booth output and feeding that back into the S4 because Tractor's got this really unique way of um, looping the video back in and then sharing the audio, um, which I'll explain on a screen record in just a minute. But that is my basic setup for now, and I'll switch to the software. And you can see how I get that set up. Okay, so I've got Tractor running and a uh, track A is just looping there. Uh, first thing you want to do is go to preferences and in your audio device you need to make sure that you are in tractor control s3 shared mode okay and um, you don't want anything in here really or change it to something completely different and um, i just change it to something that i know i'm never going to use so it doesn't clash with anything uh, i'm running parallel mode if you're asking, wondering why it's a bit different but that's all you really need to do is settings audio and this top one make sure it's on shared mode. Okay, and click close. So you can see I've got one track playing, volumes up, crossfade is over. I've got master output, but I've got no speakers at all running here. So this could be down, I imagine, but I like to leave it up. And I've got booth. Sorry, this is booth. So when I turn booth up, it's going to send a signal out and back in into channel D because I've got this selected online, like I previously mentioned. So I've got OBS Studio running here and I've got, um, I'm watching, you can see down there, Tractor and I've got some various webcams that I've turned off for the purpose of this. We can see no audio yet. Um, the first thing is do not use, um, do not use the desktop audio. You have to create an audio input capture and in there when you click settings um, not that one go to normal properties and you have to make sure you select line tractor s3 okay you can't see anything yet but as i start to bring this booth up you'll see that the levels should start to creep in so there you can go so now we've got the levels okay the reason you have to use audio input capture is for two weeks I had it set to a desktop like default capture and whenever I pressed Q, so if I bring this down, that stops. And if I press Q, I can hear it in my headphones using the normal headphone mix, but you can't hear it here. Okay, but that used to happen and embarrassingly, embar ugh, embarrassingly I did a two hour mix where you could hear everything in my headphones. So that's all you need to do is change the preferences in there, set up the hardware here and change that there so that you get your levels. Okay. Obviously you need to play around with gain, EQ and things like that. A nice little tip is on this channel, if you add a filter, you can add a limiter. Okay. And all the limiter will do is make sure that you don't get some horrible distortion. Not the best way of doing things, but it's really handy.